Hello, Paul Ellis from the Rick Group here. I'm going to give you a webinar on our SBO4 software, which is a supply chain solution for SAP Business One. And today's webinar is going to be focusing on our new look and feel. The Rick Group established in 2001. We now have customers all over the world, ranging from Australia to Middle East to Asia to North America and to Africa. Our product is currently certified for SAP Business One and uses the service layer for integration. We also integrate using the DI API with SQL version. The customers we have are mainly in distribution and manufacturing. We were a sponsor for the SAP SMB Innovation Summit in Macau and Fort Lauderdale earlier this year. And we work with the SAP Business One partners globally. We've also been part of the SAP APJ growth series. So the new features and benefits is now our warehouse management solution is browser based and it's been written in C Sharp and NVC. It's real time and you can use it on any tablet device and rugged PDAs using Android or Windows Mobile. We now have a live audit which shows management a complete real time view of what is happening in the warehouse. With real time, we allow multiple pickers of the same pick happening at once. Certification with SAP Business One HANA using the service layer. And our now, our warehouse management solution is agnostic to operating system and hardware. For further information, contact us at sales at rickgroup.com. All right, let's have a look at it. So I've driven into the front screen where you can pick orders go in, view a pick list. I've already logged in. Uh, you can see that I'm logged in over here. And it takes a email address and password to log in. Every picker or packer or anyone doing an operation through the warehouse management system is now identified through an email address and that's audited back in the database. So you can see here I can view a list of picks, what's available and I can drive into a pick by clicking or scanning a pick list number and you can see here's my item that I need to pick and I need to pick a quantity of two in the system bin location. So that's basically the pick list that's come from SAP. So let's have a look at SAP. I'm going to drive in and what I want to do is create a new sales order and a new pick list so I can show you how it works. So with the sales order I can select the customer delivery date and if I choose an item, what I want to do is just choose the first two items. And I'm going to drive quantity 2, quantity 2, add that. And we can see here sales order 774. So if I generate pick list, you can see here 774. And what I want to do is release the pick list. So as always, our software is always used the pick list or the pick pack manager of SAP because our warehouse management solution has always been organic with SAP Business One. So let's release the pick list. Generate that. So once in SAP you can see pick list number 40 has been generated. We go back to software. I could refresh just by clicking on picking and you can see straight away that pick list 40 for parameter technology down the bottom here with number of two lines has been created straight away. So I could drive into that just by clicking and I can see the two items here that I need to pick. Of course if I want to drive into that as well and I had a pick list printed, I could scan the pick list and it would automatically bring it up for the user. So here I am, I need to scan my first item A0001. I've gone to the bin location, I could scan the bin location to make sure that I'm picking from the same bin location. Right now I'm going to scan the item and you can see I've scanned the wrong barcode so it comes up with a user message and again you can see that I've been scanning the wrong barcode so I'm not allowed to pick that item. When I select the scan the right item you can see straight away the audit down here has been identified with date time stamps, which bin location, what item, what barcode has been scanned. So I've now picked the item A001 and I've selected the correct quantity which is 2. Now what I want to do is just show you that when I can drive into this item A002 
And when I drive into the item, I can manually pick the item, which I could then select the bin location or scan the bin location to make sure that I'm selecting items from the correct bin location. I could up or down, or I could press 2 and add that. Of course, by scanning the item, it's going to scan the item and put it down to the bottom here, and audit, which gives us a live audit. I've picked now, I've fully picked the sales order. And straight away, what our software does now is as soon as you've completed that order, it sends it back to SAP. And here's a little thing. Admin, picking audit. And now I can see the sales order that I've just picked at 5.50 p.m. With the item here, I can see my two scans at 5.50 and 5.50 with 16 seconds. And then I can see my manual input as well. I can use this as now a management view or a management window to see what is happening in my warehouse in real time. I can view that anywhere in the world and see what's happening straight away. Of course, we're documenting the user as well. So if I go back to that picking screen, the user can then start picking the next uh, pick ID or the next order that they wish to pick. Just to uh, quickly go back into SAP, we had pick ID 40. It's no longer in released. You can see sales order here, 774. If I click on refresh, it's closed. If I just go and have a look at the relationship map, it's been created as a delivery document. So nothing's changed in the way that it operates, but what has changed is the, the new browser-based model that we have for our warehouse management solution, giving our warehouse, warehouse users a real-time view of what's actually happening in the warehouse, allowing them to use any barcode scanners and uh, any hardware as well. So we can see the delivery documents being created and uh, the bin locations that have been selected have, been, have come across as well. Going back into our you know, console here of our warehouse management solution, if we wanted to use ruggedized devices, so we want to use an Android uh, device, or we want to use, for instance, even on an um, iOS operating system, or a Windows 10, or a Win um, any operating system that we want to use, we can now use. And just to show you here, I've given you a mobile view of the picking screen, which I can drive in, um, view the orders and go in and pick them as well. So that's what we'd see on a ruggedized um, you know, Zebra or Honeywell uh, tablet, uh, mobile device which would be you know, four inches wide. So we've got it here now where you can use tablet and you can use ruggedized device, pick orders, we can drive into orders, we've got a live what's happening so this order is already in process of being picked. I can see that if I scan the item, we've got a real live happening here. We can see the state timestamps. Again, by going into the picking audit, we've got it at the top here, of what's been happening. So anything that we're doing at, at right now with our warehouse management software has always given users real-time analytics of what's happening in the warehouse. So you could use Power BI, if you wish, to draw um, some analytics and draw some KPIs of what's happening in the warehouse because now you have a real-time WMS for SAP Business One. So next video I'll show you some more functions but this is the new look and feel of the Rick Group's warehouse management solution for SAP Business One, HANA and SQL. Thank you very much and thank you for listening.